Hi traders, welcome back to another video. So, you know, yesterday, one of my trade club members, he 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 roughly talked with me about what has happened to Mr. Donville. Uh, he's definitely one of the OG in live streaming in FX, especially in the FX space. It's an interesting uh, discussion, I'll say. All right, so some people call him a rock pool. Some people say he did not have a proper risk management that he lost about 90 to 95% in one single day. But let's dive deep into it and really talk about what consistency really is again. Whether or not these are the truth, we'll put them aside. Because again, no one will ever know the real truth until Mr. Don himself actually come up to the public and discuss about it publicly. So what happened was um, basically if you look at uh, this one, this is so-called one of the investor that invested in um, the MEM or PEM model. Let's call it a PEM model. Right? PEM model is basically just uh, you copy trading through the master account. So basically what happened is you link your account to the master account and they'll trade for you. So I'm not sure about the entire truth, whether it is a real, a proper account management or is it really a PEM model? Um, because it's very different. If Mr. Don himself is managing accounts for the investor, he requires a license to do so. And otherwise it will be illegal. But if let's say it's a PEM model, then there's less, um, there's just less legal thing needs to be involved, all right? Because you copy trade, he doesn't directly deal with the investor as in he doesn't touch the investor's money directly. There's just less trouble. So this is uh, sent to me by one of my members. He said that, oh, uh, one of the investor invested about $5,000 into the, the, PEM, uh, the PEM model uh, basically copy trade um, directly from Mr. Mr. Don's account, master account so called, well we call it a master account and he lost about 90 to 95, in this case about 95%, uh, close to 95% in one single day or two days, I'm not sure. And the another one is actually uh, this one as well, I think. Uh, this one is much more <laughs> serious, I would say. That's a little crazy. Um, this trader actually lost about... Yeah, that's, that's a lot of money. So I said, basically, he deposited about $54,000 or 53.8K into their account, into the PEM model, and he almost blew the entire account. So again... How much loss is that? Above 90% loss. So there's a lot of comment on this. Um, no one know what's the real truth. But what I can be very honest with all of you is I believe that Don is a good trader. The fact that he has done so many things publicly, doing all of the live session, um, yeah, it just shows that he is a real trader. But for me personally, again, it's just my personal opinion. You could be, you could disagree with me, but I never believe when someone say he doesn't care about risk management, as in he, he doesn't care about risk management, he doesn't care about risk to war. To me, I'm a full-time trader and I have achieved the seven figures mark and I'll still tell you honestly, I care a lot about a risk reward. Why? Because risk reward is like um, a, a, just such a basic business um, logic. As in today, imagine you invest 500K into a business. And imagine if the founder or the, the, the one who works for you tell you, hey, if you lost on the investment, you could potentially lose 500K of your investment. Every single thing. But if the business is making good money, maybe you'll get back 10%, you'll get 50K. So that's risk reward. You invest 500K for 50K of profits. 
The same thing goes into trading. I always tell my trade club members, I always tell any single of my students, my mentees, I always say, hey, risk reward is everything because trading is a business. If you don't have a proper risk reward, means you are just firing uh, empty, uh, empty shots. You, know, you're, you don't actually know what you're doing. You're just taking random bets. And what makes a trader so profitable is we have the occasional that runner, all right? We have the home run trade. It goes to five R, ten R, fifteen R, whatsoever, all right? Risk reward is just like I invest three thousand dollars today because I know the potential return is ten thousand dollars. That's three plus R risk reward. Beautiful. Even if I take a loss, as long as in the in in the long term, even if I only have about thirty percent win rate. 25% win rate, I will still be making money in the long run. It takes off all of the pressure, all of the headaches of, oh, I need to be correct 80 to 90% of the time. And not long ago, when I talk about the concept of risk reward to the public, there were one person comment to me and say, oh, you definitely don't know how to trade. Risk reward is not important. I have a one-to-one. You say, okay, you have a one-to-one -one system. All you have to do is just to make sure win rate extremely high. All right, but for me personally, I'm not the person who will say, I, I want to be correct 60% of the time. I want to be correct 80% of the time. I'm not that kind of trader. For me, I want to be correct and I want to make more when I'm being correct, when I'm being, being proven right, than when I'm proving, being proven wrong. That's it. That's the, the entire logic of trading to me long-term sustainability and that's how i get an edge and you know i have i never i never really watched the live stream on dawn probably one stream uh two years ago i'm not sure but i realized that that there's always a, a very how can i say is not a very healthy risk reward the way he trade but again I'm not, here, but again, I'm not here trying to judge him. But what I can say is the way he he trade involves a lot of risk, and especially we're all humans. You are human. I'm a human. We all have emotions, and emotion is biological. It is not psychological, which means sometimes we could be hijacked by emotional behavior, and so. What if someday there's one abs one very ugly day where you are being proven wrong, but you are just being so stubborn? It could happen. And that's why stop loss is so important. Stop loss is there to protect ourselves from our biggest enemy. So who's our biggest enemy? Us. Remember, stop loss is there for a reason, which is to protect ourselves from ourselves, from that little demon in your mind that may hijack your brain and start doing stupid things and that's emotion and that's how scary emotion is and that's why we have a stop loss let's say you have a stop loss the worst case scenario how many percent could you lose four percent five percent three percent and let's say if you really have an effective risk management a set of rules that that actually got you when to step away from the market when you're being proven wrong you know when to take pull the handbrake one day normally i lost a max two to three percent that's really the max all right so yeah it's really interesting to see that and let's go to some um, other screenshots again all of the screenshots are sent by some of my members let's have a look at this one as well so this one is um, basically just uh, someone says that oh for context why dawn went ghost dawn in one day blew through one million dollar in investors money that's quite crazy i'll agree with that with a uh, bush hft hft means high frequency trading bot that he tried to make quick money scheme with absolute zero excuse for the social po post on social media going goes like uh, blah, blah, blah. 
something shady feels like he blew through that money on purpose how can mr rr doesn't possibly bro blow a milli without it being on purpose seems like a rock ball can't wait for the explanation on this investors are also to be blamed invest into a high risk trader but to expect a negative 100 percent ROI in one day is outrageous there's something that i agree with this individual with the comment and something that i do not agree i agree and do not agree so basically you, you have to think about this you know i do agree that investors um uh, investors should be blamed of course but to me personally i don't think so you know but you know what i know a lot of you if you watch uh if you know the story or whatever you might feel like oh why don't the investors be a little bit more careful why do they invest in a youtube influencer rather than a real professional who works on a trade floor who works in the banks the institutions a real proper account management company but the thing is that investors us i me mean myself i'm an investor as well sometimes we not me because i'm mainly a full-time trader but there are a lot of investors that have excess of money but just don't have the time to trade themselves and that's why they invest in someone who has a potential someone who shows great reputation someone who shows great track record whatever so we can't really blame the investor because investors are simply individual with excess of money they are looking to put their money to work for them and trusting it onto someone else you can't really blame the investor so in this case you see lost about uh, 90 to 100 percent in one single day that is definitely the trader's problem I don't care if it's Don or anyone else, I will still say the same thing. That is definitely the trader's problem. You know why? Because it shows zero risk management. And of course, in another way, zero respect towards investors' money. Imagine today you invest 100K. I want all of you to just sink in and imagine if this is your own money. You park 100K into someone that you trust and you lost almost all. All, every single penny in one single day how could it be possibly your fault it has to be the traders fault because it could be oh you wait you you have a sleep wake up in the morning all of your money is gone that's almost like being scammed so and again there's two things to, to highlight here first one is mr. Don he has a negative risk reward trading step which means he care a lot about win rate i know he sometimes will flash that oh i have a 90 percent win rate to me i don't buy into that some of you maybe you do maybe you do yeah you feel like oh his win rate is beautiful such an amazing win rate but to me i'm not being i'm not amazed by that because becoming a good trader is all about balancing that that is like a balancing away your skill it is a trying you're trying to spin a few plays at the same time as well um you just need to balance everything right if you have a high risk reward your win rate would actually drop a little bit but you can always improve your win rate by mastering your, your position by improving your trade management etc there's a lot of ways you can do to make sure your win rate is not too bad maybe 50 percent 55 percent but at the same time really elevate your risk to a ratio using trail stops using any sort of trade management technique and that's what I always teach in the trade club as well, you know. But in this case, you see, you can, it just shows one thing. You can become an incredible trader. You can make a million dollars in one year, two years doing live stream. But if you don't manage your money well, one bad day, you lost, you lose everything. And that is the power. And that is the true power of risk management. And that is also the true power of you not respecting risk reward, not respecting the long term gain, the sustainability. When you want to trade, I always tell any single person, whether it's all of you watching this video or if they're within my trade club, if you don't respect uh, money, if you don't respect the risk, 
don't expect yourself to become a good trader. You will be destined to fail. All right. And there's one thing quite um, suspicious here as well, which is I don't think any single person can possibly lose so much money in one single day. Um, I do agree that uh, blueberry market, from what I know, they, they always have latency problem, as in if you try to use Blueberry platforms, you realize there's a lot of latency. Latency means you click the buy and sell button or maybe you try to close your position. There's a delay. It's almost like a glitch. You click the button, you cannot go through. And I have experienced that on Blueberry markets myself before. And that's one of the reasons why I don't put my money into Blueberry markets. And all of my uh, capital is almost I would say 80 to 90% is in IC markets. Australian based broker, such a, such a credible company, uh, very regulated, quick withdrawal speed, normally within a day, maximum two business days, execution top notch as well. Blueberry markets, again, like what I say, the condition isn't that beautiful, the spreads are a little bit wide, and there's a lot of latency. You see, uh, Kimo, I think, I think a lot of you know him as well. For people who think prop firms are evil brokers actually offer large sums of money to influencers with the condition that the people who deposit have to lose. I know, I know people who have been offered up to 80% of clients lost money. Yes, 80%. Uh, this one again, no one knows the degree of tr the truth. But what I can say is, yeah, I do, I do know that some brokers do that and those are really shady broker and they are not actually a broker right when 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 a brokerage firm start doing these kind of shady things they are no longer broker they are more to a scam right so yeah i do know cases like that i've heard of it i know such thing exists as well so yeah i'm not surprised uh, then uh, if you look at this one uh, again all of these are sent to me by my member you say that that's me I put I can't see the exact figure but it seems like a, a pretty decent five figures right it seems like 30 40 or 50k so he says that that's me I put all of my money into the mem uh, mem and pem is technically the same thing I'm desperate right now I could buy a house and now I need to work for that for four years I laid in bed tonight with a suicide thoughts. And I will be very honest with you, it doesn't seem like it is a fake comment. Um, I believe this is more of a um, uh, Donville community discord should be. And it doesn't seem like the person is faking um, Kone, uh, main reason being he even posts his broker statement. Yeah, broker statement, you can't lie, uh, that's legit. And he said that he put almost all his money again. It we can debate that it is his problem that he put all of his money into an influencer. But to me, again, sometimes you just trust an individual. It's just like if today some of my trader, my, my students or my mentees, they come to me and say, I want to give you a million dollars to trade. It is my duty to protect their money. I would never think about profits first. I'll think about how can I reduce the risk how can i protect the downside how can i make sure nothing will ever happen that i disappoint them that's always my utmost uh, priority and that's one of the reason why currently our trade club we have almost 110 traders inside because yeah they all always learn learn from me that the importance of risk management so yeah what i what i still want to say is it's quite scary. It's quite scary. Uh, looking at all these news, and I do, I do really think that uh, Don he really has to step up and really just give it a, a a good solid explanation. Because again, if there are really people who invest in such a big amount into his pen model into his copy trading service whatever they deserve to know the truth as well 
that's that's my sincere thought and i think yeah he should really really step on it and give a good explanation so that goes uh yeah another screenshot and there goes something from Raja Bank. Um, he's he, I believe he was probably the 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 first one that said. Apparently today, Donovan crashed the mem account on Blueberry Markets. Yeah, so again more drama here. And yeah, and before we end the 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 video, I just want to share something that I'm proud of. And I saw something that I think this is more of a proper way to trade. And I hope these, I hope if any of you invest in Don, the PEM model or whatever, you can cheer up and really learn how to trade properly. So this is one of my members that joined um, about a month plus ago, one and a half month probably. And you scroll down i really take your word and your advice and some changes happen on your on my side hopefully this can make you feel proud i'm always proud of them i receive texts like this very often by the way you see what a beautiful equity curve what a beautiful equity curve on his ftm challenge although he hasn't passed the challenge but that's insane before he joined my community he was in a massive drawdown and he didn't know what he's doing he even failed challenges before he joined our trade club and after I review his journal, after I helped him, I think he's under a half year, I think he's one of our half year member. After I helped reviewing his journal, after I, he followed our guidance, for our daily call, our watching our 300 plus lessons, look at that. He started to achieve a very strong equity curve. And you see that? Before he joined the trade club, all the way down. Right now, it's all the way back up. That's just insane. He was in a heavy drawdown. Same thing. I uh, almost fed up on this account, but I really do feel sincerity and caring. Maybe you wouldn't believe this, but after I joined the community, I wouldn't feel so lonely to work as a trader. And that's what I want to tell all of you. From Don's case, or whatever that we, we have heard, you, you just have to understand that knowledge is power and education is key. If you put your money onto someone else and you rely on them, you just don't have a full control. The only way you can have a full control of your returns or whatever is to make sure you're well educated, that you really know how to trade and you trust no one else but yourself. Just like me, I'm a full-time trader and just like them, all of my trade club members, we have about 110 uh, members right now super active communities yeah love the fact that they're all yeah they're just beautiful traders super powerful see members achieving four and a half r yeah just such a strong community With tons of lessons as well so that's it for the video if you like the video please don't forget to like share and subscribe and again I do run a trade club where I guide traders on how to trade and I lead them as a as whole like a, like a family. Um, why am I promoting it? Because we are looking to grow the family into uh, one of the best trading community in the space. So yeah, I hope all of you enjoy the video and I'll talk to you next time. If you like the video, again, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye.